I was born just the other day. He came to the world in a usual way, but there were planes to catch and bills to pay. He learned to walk while I was away, and he was talking for a new one. And as he grew, he said, I'm gonna be like you, Dad. You know I'm gonna be like you. And the cat's in the cradle and the silver spoon. Little boy blue and the man on the moon. When you're coming home, Dad, I don't know when, but we'll get together then. Have a good time then. Hey everybody, I'm Vasco and today we're looking at Cats in the Cradle. That's a super sad song, but it is a good reminder for the two busy dads. So we'll do it on a low G string uke in the original key. So after that, you'll be able to practice with the original recording and grab your low G and let's jump right into it. Okay, the song starts with intro, which is basically holding F, and just for one slight moment there is E flat and back to F. But I want to show you the picking that I am doing. It could be too complicated for you. If that's the case, there is a timestamp that you can just skip this part. But we're doing the songs from the beginning, so let's see the intro now. Okay, so we start with the chord of F, and I'm playing just the upper three strings. And then with the pinky on the third fret of the A string. Two times. The second is longer. All right. And then I'm reaching to the fifth fret, sliding to third. And then with the ring finger, I'm grabbing on the third fret of the C string. And then I'm removing the pinky. And with the pointing finger, I'm barring here the first fret. Okay? So. Okay, and then on the next one, we need to play again on the third fret here, but I'm playing with the pinky this time because we need the ring finger to go on the C string. Okay, and then this is the little E flat that we have open G string, the C string third fret, then open and getting back to F. And if you notice, this E flat is in two fourths instead of four fourths. Okay, so if we count it is one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and one and two and three and four and here is the harmonics. So what I'm doing here while holding the F chord, I'm just putting my pointing finger on the right hand, right here on the 13th fret, okay? And with the pinky, just slightly playing it and immediately removing the pointing finger. All right, that's a little technique. Really cool. This could be challenging, but it's super nice if you can do it. And for the next part, actually some strings are playing it in the original recording, but it goes something like this as notes. I'm playing the F, but up here on the eighth fret, then on the sixth fret, moving to the E string, eight, six, and here we have this slide to the six, again, 8th fret but on the C string this time and then on the 5th fret G and C getting to 3rd fret C string on the E string sliding to 3rd and then F. All right, let's go through the whole thing slowly.
Okay, and the interlude is the same basically, just we don't play the harmonics and we don't, don't play the strings part, so it's kind of half of the intro. Alright, and after that the verse is made out of three little parts and we need to define them like this because after that I will explain to you exactly how the song is going because sometimes it's keeping just one of the parts, sometimes it's keeping another one of these three parts. So let's see the verse A. It starts with F to A flat. I'm grabbing it like this with a bar. Then to B flat. And back to F. And on this part of the verse, actually, I'm doing a little picking pattern with the right hand. So, what's that? This is G and E string at the same time, then C string with a pointing finger and A string. And notice that the first F I'm actually putting the pinky on the third fret of the A string. Alright. Then. And on the second one I'm not doing it. Then from the beginning. We're repeating these two times. Alright, that's the verse A. Child was born just the other day. He came to the world in the usual way. But there were planes to catch and the bills to pay. He learned to walk while I was away. And here we go to the verse B, which starts like this E flat. I'm trying to avoid the G string right here. And we're moving from E flat to E flat with a D. Then with a C, then with a B flat on top, and after that we have A flat to C minor over G, like this, and back to F. All right, so this is the little walk down, I think it's super cool. He was talking for a new it as he really said, You know, I'm gonna be like you, Dad. And the third part of the verse is just repeating again this A flat to C over G to F. Alright, so let's see how this whole verse goes. My son was born just the other day. He came to the world in a usual way, but there were planes to catch and bills to pay. He learned to walk while I was away, and he was talking for a new it, and as he grew, he'd say, You know, I'm gonna be like you, Dad. You know, I'm gonna be like you. So, on verse B and C, basically, I'm just doing one down strum on every chord. Except here, on the last step, I'm doing a little build up with strums because after that on the chorus, I'm doing a strumming pattern and it should be louder than the other parts. And it goes like this, F to E flat to A flat to B flat and then F to E flat and again we have this a flat to C minor over G to A and again A flat to C minor over G to A and the strumming I'm doing is something like down 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 up I'm really just trying to make it loud it sounds something like this and the cats in the cradle and the silver spoon little boy blue and the man on the moon I don't know when but we'll get to have a good time then. Just here on A flat to C minor over G, I'm doing down, down, up, down, down, up to F. Down, 
down, up, down, down, up. And here I'm getting a little bit easier because we go to the interlude, which I showed you already. And after that, we have another verse, which is a complete verse, three parts together, A, B, C. And then after the next chorus and interlude, we go to the third verse, which is a little bit different. The third verse is just the part A and the part B. We're skipping the part C. And after the part B, we're adding one more bar of F. Then we have the chorus. And instead of the interlude after the chorus, we are going to the bridge, which is another pick. I'm going to show you what I'm doing as a pick. You can just strum the chords if it's too complicated for you. But still, I would like to show you the pick. So let's connect it to the chorus. You know we have a good time then. And now we go to D flat, but just the upper three strings like this. Okay, it's like an E minor shape, but two frets up and one string higher. Okay, and after that we move the same thing, two frets up, but playing just the upper two strings this time, avoiding the E string. Then grabbing the C minor, like this. Again, the upper two strings, fifth fret on the G string, C string, third fret. And grabbing F after that. And the second time is a little bit different because we are just adding one more string. We start again the D flat the same way, but this time E flat and C minor. We're also playing the E string and getting back to F. All right, so. And then we go to the fourth verse. And the fourth verse is also a little bit different. It is full A, B, C, but between the A and the B part, we are adding one more bar of F. I'm just saying this so when you start learning it the proper way, you'll be aware that at some points there are some specific parts. And if you want to do the whole song and somebody is singing with you, that's actually kind of important because otherwise you skip the lyrics. So uh, yeah, that's why I'm adding this. And then after the fourth verse, immediately goes the fifth verse, which is actually the sad verse, the ones that he's realizing that his son is just like him. And as I hung up the phone, it occurred to me, he'd grown to be just like me. My boy was just like me. And we have one last chorus after that, which we are slowing down. And the song finishes with the interlude. I write the sequence for the whole song right here. So you can screenshot it or just write it down on a piece of paper and memorize it that way. If you're practicing, this will be helpful, I believe. And I guess this sums up my tutorial for Cats in the Cradle. Thank you so much for watching it. Thank you for requesting this. This is actually requested by my patrons. So here it is. It took me a little bit because I had to really dig down into this song, but I hope it turned out a good tutorial. If you enjoyed it, let me know by hitting the like button, subscribing to the channel, and maybe requesting some songs in the comments below. And you'll see me on the next one. Goodbye.